You need to remove your trooper here. He's Don't okay. threaten me. Can I just talk to you? Literally walk up to the door and take a picture of the lock, <laughs> then we have a problem. But That'd be weird, that, right? Don't threaten me. I'm not threatening you. I'm Don't telling you, you need me. to back up out of my space. Don't threaten me. What are you talking about? You can't take somebody without getting permission. That's not true at all. That close? Are you trying to pick a fight? Hey everyone, I am free. It's July 31st, 2024. I am in the town of Kingston, Kitsap County, Washington State. I'm heading on over to the Kingston Terminal for the Washington State Department of Transportation ferry system. So the ferry system here in Washington State is really cool. Uh, if, uh, for any of you that are not from here, have not been here, Ferry system's pretty dang cool, so I'm gonna go uh, just get some general footage of that as well. While I got your attention, if you wouldn't mind liking, sharing, and subscribing, hitting that all notifications bell so you get my stories broken when they release, I'd greatly appreciate it. You can follow me on X at I Am Free Auditing, on Facebook at Inland Auditing Media, and if you want to help keep my feet on the streets, there they are, new shoes. You can go to the links in the description for Cash App and Venmo. And I'll see you guys over there here in just a minute. All right, so this is the uh, Kingston Ferry Terminal Entry Point. How you doing, sir? Good. You need anything? Maybe another foot or two? That close? Are you trying to pick a fight or something here? No, I'm just seeing what you're doing here. You need to back off a foot or two. I'm just trying you to see. You understand me? Yeah, I understand. Back off. I'm trying to see what you're doing here. Hey, back off you, now. Sir, you, we're just walking by. He doesn't know he's not walking by. You need to move on. Do you understand me? We're just trying to see what's. You need to move on. You're masked up. You're taking pictures. You stay within a foot of me for a bit much longer. It's not going to turn out. Don't well. threaten me. I'm not threatening you. I'm Don't telling you, you need me. to back up out of my space. Don't threaten me. Okay. I'm not. Hey, sir, can I just talk to you for a minute? You need to remove your trooper here. He's Don't okay. threaten me. Can I just talk to you? Hey. I, I, we don't, I'm not trying to intimidate you, I'm not trying to get in your space. I, just, I'm just, I'm sure I, I don't okay think here. you are at all, Sergeant. I okay. think you're actually being totally fine. I think Burkhart okay. here has got a problem. Oh, you said come another foot. Hey, you knew what I was talking about, I Trooper Burkhart. He was asking for a foot. In the you're being a smart ass, and you need to stop. We're just trying to see what's going on. You, you're all masked up. And, Here's the thing. And taking pictures. You have a sergeant here who's actually behaving professionally. I guarantee you, if I went through your code of conduct right now for the policy manual for the Washington State Patrol, yeah, yeah. you'd find you being unreasonable yeah, right. and not acting appropriately. Right. I'm just trying to see what's going on. You're not you're, trying to you're see. You're all masked up and, and you're taking pictures. You're making people nervous here. We're getting complaints. It's okay. It's okay to take pictures. Listen to what Sergeant Hoppala just said. It's okay to take pictures. Trooper Burkhart's declarations imply that it wasn't and that it, in fact, was alarming to people. Trooper Burkhart is a loose cannon, ready to unleash violence upon the public if he is not respected in a way that allows all to know he is revered. My opinion of this situation is the blatant obvious one. I was there getting b-roll footage, both video audio and some still photo pictures, when Trooper Burkhart decided to take it upon himself to act in opposition to the code of ethics of the Washington State Patrol and attempted to start a fight with me after I politely asked him to give me a foot or two. Fortunately, Sergeant Hoppola was there too, ultimately, to escalate Trooper Burkhart. I really believe that if Trooper Burkhart were there engaging with me by himself, that he would have escalated the situation on his own into a violent encounter. This is shocking behavior. Russ, Look, <laughs> I'm, I'm totally fine talking with the sergeant here. He's been nothing but professional. You're trying to step up because you're carrying a sidearm and you got other weapons. 
No. You're feeling a little too comfortable with yourself no, right so, now. It's okay. okay. We're, just trying, to, we're just trying just to get you to see what's going on. Can I just talk to you for a minute? Yeah, Will you feel better you can tell not, Burkhart just to move on. Okay. I think he just wants to talk to me. Just give us a minute. Uh, <laughs> Burkhart, did dude. something happen to you as a child? No, Come on, all, give me a couple more feet here. I don't. You stand up behind me. It seems like you're, you're trying to get ready to do something. You're, you're taking pictures. You're making people nervous. What do you expect? You don't Russ, see any, let's, just, let's just walk up here. You don't see anybody else masked up. Do their job. Everything you got to do. The sergeant is being completely fine. Sergeant, do you still want to talk? You or? see anybody else messed up? Oh, my God, Burkhart. Come on. Chill out, man. Jeez. Okay, what's going on, Sergeant? Nothing. Just checking on you. Making sure you're doing good. Yeah, no. I, appreci I appreciate okay. your professionalism. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. I have abs yeah, I'm actually working on a story. Oh, all right. What do you think? Is it okay if I ask? What, no, what? I don't mind talking. Yeah. yeah, I'm working on a story about the traffic. Uh, I got some tips in the hey, that there's like so, traffic. Somebody's got to fix it. So if it can be you, that'd be great. Well, what I I mean, the thing is, is about half the time, the tips and leads I get are just not actually accurate. Okay. In fact, I just worked on a story today about uh, Central Kitsap uh, bus transportation system. Yeah. And uh, it looks like the tips and leads I got were completely, well, I wouldn't say completely fabricated, okay. but... Yeah, we're a little embellished, you okay. know, but you know, that's what we do as members of the press. We go out and try to figure this stuff out. Yeah. What I actually, what I was told is that there's issues with how much traffic is here, like it's too much of a choke point. And one of the people right. said it's actually causing like some concerns with. Well, it backs up through here and then it gets into town. That's so you exactly. Got people trying to get to their houses, trying to get to their businesses, yes. and you exactly. can't even, you can't even roll up and do business because oh, yeah. all the ferry traffic exactly. is backing well, up. Well, one, one of the concerns that I had, I think, three, maybe four emails about, I think I've got about 10 or 12 total. Yeah. Three or four emails that they were concerned about is basically the pollution that's happening. So like, oh, the, interesting. The okay. Cars are sitting still. I know from what I understand, like the expectation is that they just turn off the vehicle. When so we definitely here. ask people to turn the cars yeah. off at the same time when it's real hot, hot outside. And you, you got someone with a sure, kid in the car. Yeah, like you, I'm not going to tell them to you know turn your car off and you're sitting there sweating. Like it's tough. Yeah, no, no, I so, totally get that. Right. I mean, it's just it's a thing where I, I think what these people are wanting or at least wanting to show is like what can be done to change this. Is there need to be more funding for the Washington State Department of Transportation for the ferry system? And I mean, part of it too is like. You can't go rip everything out. I mean, the town's right there, so it's you know kind of an right. interesting thing. I've right. actually not been here before, so oh, really? I'm just looking. I mean, to yeah, to this terminal. terminal. Yeah, yeah, so I'm yeah. just looking to get that information and see like what. I'm one of the supervisors here. Hi. So I'm the supervisor here. Okay. My name is Maria. Hi, Steve. And you can take all the pictures you want, but you can't go in an area where the it's not public access, or you can't take a picture like of the lock on the door of the tow booth. That's a restricted area. The lock on the... Like if you went up to the back door of that tow booth... Oh, you mean like literally walk up to the and door? Literally walk up to the door and take a picture of the lock? <laughs> then we have a problem. But That'd be weird, that, right? You know, I don't think we're doing that today. Take all the pictures you want. I don't think anyone here happy. would believe me if I said I got a tip and a lead that I can't go up and take a photo of the lock from one foot away. Yeah. That might be a bit much. <laughs> Yeah, and you can't go, you know, down below where those cars are parked because that's your stupid area. Yeah, so I'm you can go anywhere. Yeah, I'm sure you guys you got want, it all marked off. And take that kind all of stuff. your pictures sure. you want, but if yeah. it says, like, see that back door says restricted access? That's yeah, I can't where go past you're it. get my attention and their attention. Yeah, I certainly won't go past a, that sign. It becomes a breach of security because then we're going, okay, why is he taking a picture of that lock or why is he taking a picture of that door? Like, yeah, you know I mean, I can, I can promise you this. Anywhere there's yeah. appropriate signage, I'm not going to go past it. I'm not going to yeah. try to go so into just it. Take or... pictures and get all the attention you can because we need it. Well, there that is. That's hey, in my talking, opinion. Fix yeah, that is actually like part it, of right. what brought the main thing that brought me here is there. There were two issues: people complaining about the tips and leads I got about how congested it is. Oh, it's terrible. But then also, uh, three or four of the emails I received were talking about how it's having a pollution effect in the area, like because like the sergeant was saying, the cars no. are backing in. So, so here's the deal. Okay. The so so the ferries. We work closely with the in, environmental, environmental agency, and we're checked. Department of Ecology? On a, yeah. Okay. And, and EPA. And EPA. Okay. So All they right. come down here weekly and monthly oh. to check on everything. However, car pollution and trash up the street, that's the city's issue. 
Now, ah, okay. we are the main stream route to the east side because a lot of people don't like going taking Bainbridge because it takes them into downtown Seattle. Oh, I didn't so know a lot that. of people okay. don't like that. So they'll take our route to get to the island, to get to where they need to go. I see. Instead of going to downtown so Seattle. So this is the busiest port. This is a very busy port. Us and Muckleteo Clinton, because okay. Muckleteo Clinton is the is the hub to the south end of Whidbey Island. Sure. That makes so sense. they don't have to take the freeway all the way up. It's a shortcut. Yeah, hey, okay. guys, take care, yes. man. You got a business card I can get? Don't, okay. sorry. Um, so if... I if I, I'm sorry, give, give me just a second. Uh, can I get the uh, badge numbers for both of you? Yeah, I'm 195. 195 and then yeah. uh, Trooper Burkhardt? 392. 392. Yeah. All right, thanks, yeah. guys. Yeah. Take care. So if Port Townsend closes due to tides, uh, wind, weather, we're people's main outlet to the island, so we oh. get hammered. Now, wow. the last few weekends, it's been insane, out of control, because of all the festivals. Oh. Okay, and people come over here to camp out in the Olympics. Don't forget, it's summer vacations. Huh. So, and with all that, all the congestion out on the highways, it's a, it's a nightmare here. That trooper Burkhardt, that guy is crazy. He absolutely knew what he was doing. And fortunately, that sergeant was squared away uh, and, you know, eventually made him go away. I don't know what on earth that guy was thinking, but that is a loose cannon of a trooper right there. I think that guy's maybe bored during the day and is looking for some excitement or something i don't know what he was thinking that was so unprofessional and rude gosh absolutely crazy so i'm gonna go up here and get some b-roll footage it's interesting talking to that terminal supervisor who was saying that they're kind of at maximum capacity but at the same time she's saying that they're going to get more electric ferries to come in here so it kind of seems like a contradiction I'm gonna reach out to uh, their communications department and see about getting uh, more information hey sergeant I got a quick question yeah, for you are you out here regularly? Is this yeah. okay? What are the what are the busiest days out here? You know, it's tough to predict that. It's usually the major holidays, so your Thanksgivings, Mother's Day is when people want to be out visiting. Summertime always picks up by quite a bit, um, and then it's you know beautiful days like this, people want to get out, get on the boat. So it's, it's tough to predict. Is this kind of slow holidays. right now? Yeah, it gets a lot busier. Okay, it, but is this a typical slow time? It's hard to say what's right, typical, right. you know what I mean? It's, uh, it yeah. is really just that random, huh? It is, yeah. Huh. There's okay. uh, predictable commuter rushes where people are going, living on the side, they go to the other side to go to work and then come back in the afternoon. So that, that's pretty predictable. Other than that, especially when school's not in, huh. it uh, tends to kind of ebb and flow. So yeah, okay. but yeah, you're right. Today's not that busy at all. Yeah, it didn't yeah. seem like that. And I was kind of hoping to g actually capture some of the right. really weekends, busy stuff. Uh, I, w I mean, this time of year, weekends are going to be busy. So Saturday, Sunday. Okay. Holiday, yeah, I'll come out. Like that. Have you ever noticed, like, just standing here, like, when it's really at like an apex moment, you're like, "Oh my gosh, this is as crazy as it gets." Have you ever noticed, like, like it's maybe more stifling to breathe or anything, like where it's smoggy or anything, or not so much? I can't say that I have. Okay, fair um, enough. I mean, especially like up here. Like, yeah, I mean, it seems air, completely fine. See, yeah, yeah it is. it's actually kind of a kind of a great place to work. Yeah, I mean, you're out in the open air. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Man, so. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, All right. I one last question. What's that? What is going? What was going on with Burkhart? Do you know why he did that? That was really awkward when he moved in with me, because uh, moved in on me, because you were totally he professional. Just, he the was entire concerned. Time. I, somebody told him that they thought you were trying to intimidate people. He was concerned about that. I get it. You're out here yeah. taking pictures. You're fine. Yeah. Um, I think maybe he got a little bit of bad information. Um, and okay. Maybe the mask, like obviously, 
people wear masks for a lot of different reasons. Well, yeah, like for that. me, I just, you know, I, there's no expectation of privacy for me in public. So if I want to do that, then I got to create my you privacy. Totally and, good, right? You yeah. can do wear whatever you want to wear whatever. I mean, and uh, other people wear it for air quality sure. or for sun too. Uh, yeah. This time of year, I know sometimes I'm like, I need to put a hat on. I just need to keep the sun off my face. So, I get that. Yeah. See, have a good one. <laughs> Take care, Sergeant. Alright, gonna go up here and get some photos of these fairies and then I'm gonna head on out. I'm kind of disappointed I didn't get um, more of the uh, congestion because that was really what I was showing up for and I was told around this time is super busy, but it looks like it's not. <laughs> now remember, you can't tape without permission. You can't tape without permission, you know that, right? Take that all your pictures sure. you want. What are you talking about? You can't take somebody without getting permission from them. That's not true at all. I think so. <laughs> I, I promise you the most expensive steak dinner you could possibly think anywhere in this region. Really? So you can tape record someone without telling them they're being tape recorded? Correct. Uh -huh. So how it works is walking around anywhere in public, walking around anywhere in public, I could have a hidden camera, uh -huh. but you can't even see it, record everything. And I'm still totally fine. Uh, something like this is especially covered. So in the in the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, they ruled it back in 1999. There was a case called Fordyce versus the City of Seattle uh -huh. that you can do that. There's two implied cases that also cover that. So yeah, you 100% can. I guarantee you. Yep. So anyhow, uh, comment below what you think about the interactions there. Um, kind of crazy that the go-to for the Washington State Patrol and the terminal staff was that, A, you can't record. <laughs> That's just absolutely crazy to me. Uh, wow. And then the automatic go-to was, I'm wearing a mask like people did for several years and still wear. And the automatic belief is that I'm threatening people, intimidating people. That's what I'm there for. That's what I'm doing. Trooper Burkhardt is one of those people that ends up going crazy and hurting someone or worse. Whereas the sergeant was de-escalatory. I'm glad he walked him away off to the side. Um, that was just really uncalled for. But anyhow, that's it here today. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that all notifications bell so you get my stories over the release. You can follow me on X and I am free auditing, Facebook, and Inland Auditing Media. And if you want to help keep my feet on the streets, you can do so by going to the links in the description for Cash App and Venmo. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next location. Bye for now. Closes due to tides, uh, wind, weather. We're people's main outlet to the island, so we oh. get hammered. Now, wow. the last few weekends, it's been insane, out of control, because of all the festivals. Oh. Okay, and people come over here to camp out in the Olympics. Don't forget, it's summer vacations. Huh. So, and with all that all the congestion out on the highways it's a it's a nightmare here we're a busy hub well you know one email i got uh it is a local from bainbridge was mentioning their dissatisfaction with the volume of traffic going oh my through. god so what are you gonna do hello yeah are well you my gonna understanding tell people is from the east side don't come to the west side yeah well, that's not yeah. happening yeah, especially with the blues festival whaling days roadie festival jazz festival do you happen to know um because i mean i'm kind of just jumping into the deep end here all yeah. puns intended um driving up here obviously that forest is super thick and beautiful on both sides right you know when you're coming from like poles bow right, to right, here right 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 is you're there in terms of like what you're aware of and if you don't know you don't know but uh in terms of what you're aware of 
are they unable to expand that out for traffic because it's like old growth you forest mean, and stuff? You mean, you mean uh, Agipass Road? Yeah. Where are they going to expand it? You've well, got I homes mean, and, and private Well, it's just property. forest on both sides. But I mean, they could... privately owned. I know, and that's like and, the whole eminent domain Bainbridge, thing. And what sucks is it's one way in, one way out. Yeah. Terrible. Yeah. But all the, all the Bainbridge Island, there's one way in, one way out. Hmm. And then here, you know, um, here, again, you've got one road out, one road in. And it's sure. usually jammed traffic all the way here to the Paul's Bow Cutoff. What, I mean, from your perspective, if you're working for, are you WashDOT specifically? or yes, are you wa Washington State Department of Transportation. Okay, I wasn't sure if like you were in like a sub-department or something like that. So no. from, from your perspective, like if, if you had a magic wand and you were going to wave it and fix the problems, like what would you need right now to solve the, the traffic issue, well, pollution issues? Well, actually what we're doing is there is a project in place right now that is in the process of being done where we're going to be moving these toll bus over there. Where? Over there. Over there. Okay. And there's going to be a control light at the end of town by Linvog okay. that's going to divert traffic so all this will be clear of traffic. Oh, so okay. in other words, they're going to make this local traffic only. It's actually pretty ingenious how they have it designed. And I think it's going to actually start next year. So how does the battle, I, I'll call it colloquially a battle, how does it work? Because I, I heard what you said earlier where the, you know, the, the traffic issues and the pollution issues are the city's problem. So well, how does the, that, how the, do you guys the negotiate The traffic that? issues and the, and, the, and the pollution issues is everybody's issues. You can't just pin it to here. Because you 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 know you're looking at a, a broad scale. I mean, pollution is terrible. Sure. Plastic usage is terrible. Yeah, sure. I mean, we are, we're opening up a can of worms here when you start talking about pollution and traffic control. Traffic control is is population control. Sure. You know, we're talking the Olympics in the summer. You know, I mean, it's just people go when the sun comes out. Washingtonians go. Yeah, that's you true. know, and. That's true. Pollution, when you look at humans on a large scale, we are heavy polluters. Mm -hmm. End of story. You know, we try to go green. I mean, the state transportation is trying to go green. Your, your airlines, your buses, the ferries, we're all trying to go green. But when you deal with people in a large volume, it's nuts. And you, and you don't see it until you see this on a large scale. I mean, the society today is all about me. They don't care about anybody else. So if they drop trash here, keep walking. When there's a trash can, you know, over here, or trash cans in the park right there. You know what I'm saying? That's just... Yeah, no, no. You know, I, and I mean, you know, the people who complain to me, get on a committee and do something about mm -hmm. it. You know what I'm saying? Just if if you don't like a situation, join a committee and do something about it. Join the legislation. Mm -hmm. Do something where you can take action. But you know, I don't see a lot of garbage around here. I don't know if you do. Looks I really don't. clean. I mean, actually. it looks pretty clean to me. The water looks pretty clean. You know, we have stormwater inspections every month, and our drains are clean. And I mean, there's no garbage here, and all this goes down to the water. Yeah, no, it looks really. So clean. you know, people who complain, I look at them, and the first words out of my mouth is, "What are you actually doing besides complaining? What what is your action to stop this? Well, what are you actually doing?" Sure. I got you know, a question for you complain. about these being moved. So, are those three lanes actually enough for the population, the volume of vehicles that you have? Oh yeah, no. I mean, yeah. But where are you gonna where are you gonna put them? Where where are we gonna put more tolls? We can't we can't go through the park. I mean, where are you gonna put them? So it wouldn't it wouldn't work to expand it out to have like like six booths and just basically where? continue to rip where? all that out and move it in. You're or? gonna rip that park out? Yeah, is that that's something that, that uh, that's you're dealing with county and city, city. ordinance? 
Would and it help Washtenaw though? So you have state, you have county, and you have city. And you have all ordinances, you have all politicians, and the okay. list goes on. How many booths do you actually, would you say that you actually need to, like, I mean, disregarding all well, the politics three, and everything else about it? we're maintaining three. Okay. I always have three. I always have two sellers open at all times, if not three, gotcha. to handle that. Right now, would there's a Would four be lull. optimal at this point? Huh? Would four be optimal or where, more where than that? Where are you going to put it? No, That's I'm just... traffic check. We yeah, no, I'm place. just curious, like, in terms of what, what work, or what would actually be best just for purposes well, of managing on, traffic on, flow, how many booths would it be? On Saturday and Sunday, yeah, you could use an extra seller, but then again, you're talking more labor, more employees, mm -hmm. more insurance, more funding. Where's the funding gonna come? And probably Where's more. Where's the money gonna come from? That's a, that's a big question. Where's that money gonna come from first? It's gotta come, it's gotta, somebody's gotta be willing to say, okay, here's the money to fund that. Mm -hmm. And you know where that comes from? Olympia. Yeah. politicians it's true so it's your it's your politicians you know that get their pockets greased <laughs> fair enough you know what i'm saying so, yeah yeah i mean it's it's a huge there's so many facets there's so many variables so even if you needed one two three more boosts the, the complexity of managing all of the different jurisdictions makes it near impossible. No, it's not that. that. It's room. Where are you going to put them? Where would you put three more booths here? Where, tell me where. You can't, you can't go through the park. Where are you going to put them? Where, in your mind, if you were given funding to fund three more booths, where would you put them and where would the traffic come from? Well, I don't know that. I'm just trying to report on what the needs of the wash dock <laughs> ferry system are. Oh my it God. It sounds like on, on the weekends. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're asking questions with just so many variables. Mm -hmm. I mean, I love your mind. I love your inquisitiveness. It's lovely, but you know, somewhere you're going to come across a brick wall. And, and, and moving a park like that is a brick wall because the money stops here. Fair enough. Yeah. No, I, I appreciate know, it. That's it. I mean, in a dream world, yeah, I could use more traffic lanes to hold more cars. Gotcha. Where are we gonna go? In the ocean? And that wouldn't exceed. So are you gonna go out in the ocean over here and destroy a, a natural habitat? Sure. Yeah, I see Just your for point. Cars? That's not gonna go very well with the environment. So is is it fair to say? And correct me if I'm wrong, because I don't want to put words in your mouth. Is it fair to say that with what you have here, infrastructurally speaking, this is sort of a maximum capacity because of the complexities of expanding, like r removing parks and things like that? Well, yeah, I mean, we're at maximum capacity right now. Gotcha. Right? We need, we have a lot of traffic that's closer there, but you know what? We're doing the best we can with what we're given, and we get a lot of cars across that water. A lot of cars. We transport thousands and thousands and thousands of people every day. Out of curiosity, just because it's, uh, you know, again, I'm trying to give as, get as much information to uh, people that are consuming this, this news here. If you had more ferries that showed up more okay. re you know, where, regularly. Where are you going to get the money? Well, I'm not asking that. I'm we're not asking that. sea routes. Correct. So we're talking a water highway out okay. there. So this is a water highway. Sure. Okay. You're dealing commercial ships. You're dealing with Coast Guard, you're dealing with personal boats, and you're dealing with the ferries. So let me ask you this then. So uh, is it fair to say that the amount of ferries that are transporting vehicles and passengers well, with the routes... Well, we are getting more electric ferries. Gotcha. So there, it, it there is an ability to add to... more? Oh, yeah. We have... We, they're building them now as we speak. Gotcha. So, yeah. But anyway, is there any nice way I could get a business card? I don't have a business card. Oh, you don't? Card. Okay. Yeah. Uh, is there any way I could get an email address so if I got follow-up questions? No, I could... I'd rather not. Oh, uh, okay. To uh, tell you the truth, I'm, I'm pretty much done, so...